Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to jump into DaVinci Resolve and create a logo particle dissolve effect. This is kind of like a follow on to the tutorial I did a couple of weeks ago where I did like the Thanos particle dissolve effect using text. So I'll show you what we're going to create today. So you can see there's a few different logo particle dissolves there. This tutorial won't be as in depth as the original simply because I did the original and so if you want to go into all the nitty gritty in you can follow that tutorial first. This tutorial is more about how to implement the same effect, but with an image. Uh, later down the track, maybe in a couple weeks time, I will show you how to apply this same effect to people, uh, which will involve filming particular footage and all that sort of stuff. If you do wanna see that kind of a tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out because it will be coming. Now, for those of you who don't wanna follow the tutorial but just want the effect, I will leave a link to myself I saw down below where you can download the settings file that you can literally drag and drop into Fusion and then swap a few things around. So let's start with that. So let's just jump into Fusion and I'll show you what that would look like. So here we are and this is what the, um, I guess the node tree would look like if you were to download that settings file. So this is everything we're gonna create. All you would need to do then is delete this media in one node here on the left, the media in one underscore one node here on the right and then drag whatever logo you want in. Literally click, drag, and then drag again. And then give it a sec for the P render to logo to load. And that's literally as simple as it is. All right, straight away you have your particle dissolve. So this is gonna work with any kind of logo, as long as it's a PNG file, so you have that nice transparent background, that'll work. So let's actually show you how to create this effect from scratch. All right, so let's start by a so let's go over to our effects library. We're gonna drag a fusion composition down, just default timing, and then with it selected, head on over to fusion. Awesome, so now we have our media out node. What we're gonna do is drag a few things down. So we're gonna drag our P emitter down and our P renderer. Connect them together and then across to media out. And now we have our 2D particle system. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to want to change a few of the settings in the P emitter just to make it easier for us down the track. So we're going to change the number of particles to, let's just go 7,000. We're going to go region, change the region from sphere to bitmap because we want an image to control where the particles are coming from. All of a sudden, everything disappears. You can see we get a little yellow arrow here, which literally means if we were to drag a image down, plug it into the P emitter, give it a sec, now we can see some things. And if we were to select the P emitter and we go to controls, I'm gonna change the color to color from region. Give it a sec to load. Now you can see we have our logo appearing, but it doesn't look quite right. It's a bit too big. We need to organize the size of it. So we're going to disconnect that for now. What we're going to do is if we open up a double viewer, and I'll show you the media in node. So currently it's a square at 217 pixels by 217, and we're working in 1080p space. So it's not quite right. So with the media in one node selected, we're gonna go shift space, Go resize, okay? And then basically now we have that in a 1080p space. And then from the resize, add a transform. Give that a second. Now we can resize the logo, bring it right down, change the aspect so it's nice and square. And from there, if I was to plug it into our P emitter, you will see over here, now we have our particle logo but we're not ready to do that yet. What we need to do is create the mask, I guess, that causes the particles to dissolve as if it's disappearing. So to do that, with this selected, we're going to, so with this in the viewer, nothing selected, we're gonna click polygon. It's gonna create a polygon node. And literally all I want you to do is go click, 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 just create a random shape and just make sure that the shape is large enough that it, will, it could cover the entire logo because we're gonna move it at one point so it does cover the entire logo. Cool. Um, and now what we can do is with that polygon node selected, we're gonna go Command or Control C to copy it. Then we're gonna go Command Shift V, Control Shift V to paste it. But what it does is it pastes an instance. Now we do cover this in the Thanos tutorial, but basically an instance mask is the exact same thing. It has the exact same parameters. It's just doubled, all right? The thing is, is if you resize this one, the original will resize. If you move a point, the original one will move. So what we wanna do is with the instance polygon selected, we're going to right click the border width and we're gonna go de-instance. So now we can control the border width on this mask independently. We also wanna uncheck the solid box and we'll get to that in a sec. So with those, 
that done, let's drag a merge node down and we're going to drag the top polygon into the background and the instance into the foreground, so the green. And let's display that merge here. Currently we can't see anything um, and that's currently because they are merged on top of each other. So what we're gonna do is change the operator of the merge node from over to XOR. Again, still can't see anything. With the instance polygon, we're gonna go back to the border width and because we changed this, we can now independently adjust this. We're just gonna make it a bit bigger. Now in this instance, the white part of this mask is what's gonna be visible. The black part's what's gonna be transparent. So we can make that as large or as small as you want. The larger it is, the more particles you're gonna see, etc. And we can soften that up. So from there, what we're going to do is transform these masks into a bitmap, so a black and white image. So we're just going to, with nothing selected, go shift space bitmap, drag the merge one output into the input of the bitmap. And then again, nothing selected, gonna add a mapped controller. And we're gonna drag the bitmap into this bottom gray one here, the garbage mat. You can see it pops up down here in the bottom right. And then the transform one node is gonna plug into the yellow. So the background, that's the hardest part done. Then the mat control, we're gonna plug into the P emitter. Boom. And kinda, not quite. We just need to invert it basically. So with the mat control node selected, go down to garbage mat, drop it down and literally just go invert. Perfect. And from there, all we really need to do is add the forces to make it look like it's floating away. So with the P emitter selected, we're gonna hit shift space. I'm gonna go P, D. I'm gonna go directional force, enter, and change the direction to positive 45. So we're just gonna go 45. It's gonna make it fly up into this direction. Perfect, and then what we're gonna do again is shift space, P, T, and we're gonna go P, turbulence, and we're just gonna change all these, right? So we're gonna go 0.2, 0.2, 0.3, and then increase the density just a little bit, maybe to 50. Give it a sec to load, and you're gonna, all of a sudden you're gonna see all these particles start flying everywhere. You can see all the particles going everywhere. Next, what we wanna do is animate the polygon, so it's kind of covering it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move to frame zero, move this so that it is over here, so you can't see anything. Set a keyframe, go to the end, and basically drag it over like so. And now as we watch this play back, all the particles come and sort of dissolve away. Super nice, nearly done. All we need to do now is we're going to copy our media in sort of selection here, paste it, all right? And then we're going to merge them together. So just drag the outputs together so we can merge them. Just make sure that your new media in one is plugged into the foreground. We're next going to grab the original polygon, not the instance, copy that one, paste it over here, drag it to the mask, and then literally we're just going to invert it and make it solid. And if you want, you can feather that ever so slightly. And now you have your dissolving logo. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, we kind of smashed this one out pretty quick. We do go more in depth in the original tutorial. And the next one after this is going to be using it, I guess, on yourself. So we're gonna go into how to film the footage, how to deal with the footage, and then obviously the effect is going to be quite similar, but with a little few extra steps. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I always enjoy hearing from you guys, so make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you have any recommendations on tutorials you'd like to see, leave them down there and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. But yeah, until the next video guys, see ya.